Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Shimmers Paints Inspiration. I'm joining you today to share my take on the November Colour Challenge, which is inspired by the wintry tones in the Shimmers Paint Store. And something a bit different for me today. I normally like to use a whole ton of colour, but today I'm just focusing on this gorgeous one colour wonder called Textures Patina. Ah, look at that. Isn't it divine? So I've cut my cardstock back to 11 inches, as you can see, so it fits beneath my stencil. And I'm just literally going to slap that colour all the way around the border nice and... Look, I'm going to be honest, quite quick. I'm not fussy and, you know, on it goes. Really lovely. So it's a bit different to apply. If you're used to using Dazzlers, that grittiness to the texture can be quite... Um, take a little moment to get used to. Um, I found it, it just... I know, it took me a minute to get used to that change. Um, the other thing I noticed was that if you don't stare it enough, look at this, you get different depths of colour, which I personally love, that jilted jade colour as well. So having a bit of a two-tone effect coming through. How amazing is that? Sorry, I get excited by things like that because really you, I've now got two colours for the price of one. So lots of minty tones and then, of course, some jilted jade as well. So very, very pretty. And let's have a look. Oh, gorgeous. So I've got these beautiful little snowflakes all around the edge of my page. And I'm just tidying up a few of the messier spots. Not all of them because, you know what, I like those little pops of colour. They're really pretty. And what am I cleaning them with? It's just paper towel and water. I don't use fancy wipes or anything like that because Shimmer's paints are so gentle. There's no toxic chemicals in them. They're really, they're safe for the kids to use. So I always wash down with just water and a paper towel. So cleaning up there, you saw how easy that was. So really good. And now that it's dry, I'm going to come in with some more stencil work because, well, we need snowflakes, don't we? And the lovely thing for me at Christmas, of course, is here where I live in Australia, um, no snow, not ever. <laughs> you know, occasionally um, in the hillier part of where I live, there's, you know, if you're really, really, really lucky in a freak winter, we might get, you know, two mil of snow. So not, you know, not happening for me. But I always associate Christmas with um, snowflakes. So I love to do gorgeous wintry themed pages at Christmas time. So, um, oh. Gosh, look at that snowflake. And you can already see the dimension. See how it's sort of, I don't know, it has this crystalline look to it and it's shimmery and it's beautiful. And sorry, I get excited by good colours. So on we go. And another one over here. Oh, and you can see it spreads like butter. It's really gorgeous. Very, very pretty. So yeah, so no, no winter snow here, sadly, for this girl. So making the most of the Christmas themed layout. And I think this colour is just perfect for Christmas, don't you? I mean, oh, look at that. It's dry now. And look, you've got that gorgeous shimmer, but the texture in it as well. Ah, oh, it's fabulous. And you can see why I really don't need to add any other shimmers products. It's gorgeous on its own. And probably a good one to start off with if you haven't, you know, bought many of our products before because, you know, you, sometimes you don't know what you like or if you prefer sprays to texture pastes and it's just a great all-rounder for your kit. So I I think if you don't have it, you need it. So grab the Textures Patina. And you'll see in my photo here, what a cutie is this. Um, if you follow me already, you may have already heard, but we got a very early special delivery Christmas present this year. Um, someone to cheer up um, what's been a bit of a tough and sad year for us and, and certainly very difficult one health wise for my family so someone to cheer us up and isn't he divine I believe in America you call them a doxy um but he's a miniature dash hound so he is super cute um the kids have called him Maxwell because he's so very smart so you know Maxwell smart for those of you who are older and would remember <laughs> Maxwell smart 99 <laughs> I'm showing my age now and I'm just literally inspired by all the lovely Christmas colours and obviously he's been photographed with all the Christmas baubles. <laughs> he's a bit of a cutie there. And I'm using the crepe paper Fa La La collection. Oh, I'm deciding where I'm going to put my photo. And, oh, 
isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, he's so adorable, I can't help myself. So Crepe Paper Fala La Collection and really just because I had so much of it left over from last year. Lots of lovely snowflake embellishments because as I said, I, I don't get the opportunity to use them a lot. So it's really fun for me when I get to do Christmas pages that have snowy elements. So yeah, on they go. It's good fun. Lots of minty tones and a package or a parcel because of course here's our special delivery for Christmas. So quite a cute little page and as I said it was an 11 by 11 cardstock so just mounting it onto that fantastic fa la la pattern paper and the gorgeous jade colorings in that pattern paper just complement the textures patina perfectly don't they really gorgeous oh, beautiful so there you have it there's my base and you can see I, I mean I could have come in with some gold flecks or some red splatters or but I just love that clean fresh minty I know it's almost like you know with him being a new puppy he's fresh and innocent and I needed that clean look so this was perfect really really fun and as you can see I'm going to have some fun now with these snowflake embellishments and just having a bit of a play You'll see there's a chipboard snowflake to the top left and I purposely put that one there because I did have a very slight bleed on that stencil when I had a closer look. I wasn't happy with, you know, and sometimes that happens, you know, just sometimes stencils aren't the greatest quality or they're just not the easiest or stuff happens. So, um, yeah, like that just happened. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's the wonderful thing with embellishments. You use them to cover up mistakes as well as to adorn your photo and dress your page. They're great for all that sort of stuff too. So on they go. And snowflakes really are fun. They really do say Christmas to me. I don't know why because, of course, every Christmas for me is by the beach. But still, snowflakes equal Christmas for me. So, yeah, on they go. And I love that detail there. Isn't that beautiful? I found that chipboard piece and I was like, oh, wow, that almost looks identical to the stencil around the edge. So I just had to go there. And that enamel parcel sticker, look, everything just works beautifully. So, yeah, lots of crepe paper, fa -la, la and I did see some snow and cocoa stickers sneak in there as well. So, yeah, lots of crepe paper love today with the shimmers textures patina it's not gorgeous now of course you know if you buy this in the store and you pop my name in the comment section amanda that you will also receive a free paint too so don't forget to do that because you know it's good for you to get free paint right <laughs> and and a good way to grow your stash so yeah look at that just lots of lots of pretty details lots of snowflakes i love it He's so cute. <laughs> um, but if you look carefully at my hands, as much as he's so cute, you'll see that I'm wearing the scars of a puppy who's just discovered his puppy teeth. Um, he's almost just coming up to 12 weeks now, so he's a little bit nippy, and you'll see on the side of my hands I do have quite a few uh, <laughs> quite a few reminder marks that he's teething. <laughs> and we're having a bit of fun with that too, but for the most part he has settled in really well absolute joy so yeah just picking out lots of stickers these ones are the snow and cocoa ones and I'm not sure why they were in my fa -la, la pack but I think I must have had like a double up of them so coming in handy to add those extra snowflake stickers in and I have opted for lots of stickers for my embellishing today there's not too much with dimension just because of course that texture's paste is just beyond incredible and it really doesn't need anything else to draw away from it. So, yeah, lots of flat stickers. That one's perfect, isn't it? Special delivery. Couldn't couldn't get more. Couldn't get more perfect. So, yeah, because the textures has so much dimension, I'm keeping it fairly simple, really clean. And, oh, I do like that sticker there. That's gorgeous. So there's my title, Merry Christmas. Such an awesome Christmas present. And we'll pop some foam tape under that as well, I think. Yeah, there you go. Just to keep it raised and, um, again, away from that gorgeous patina so that it's got its own moment. 
and own attraction point. I'm just fiddling around now, playing with stickers. I love the red as an accent color, so adding a few pops of red, or I'll come back and add a few more pops of red. <laughs> I think I hum and ha on the red for a little while, but in the end, the red does come back. Enamel stickers, can't go wrong with them. And I do love those teal and jade colors. They're very pretty. It's a really fresh look for Christmas, isn't it? That palette of red, white, and mint. And oh, look, I really love this number 25 ephemera. And it really bothered me that it was too big. <laughs> and I go through all the ephemera and I go, oh, you know what? It's all quite big. I don't know. I must have used all the smaller pieces earlier. And yeah, I'll come back to that 25 because I like the idea of it being he was the special Christmas gift. It might not have been on Christmas Day, but it's that symbol that he was Christmas. And he certainly is our Christmas very much this year. So, yeah. And adding a few little XOs. And as soon as I straighten them up and I take a second look, I actually hate where I've popped them. And so I'm going to peel them all back off. I probably could have cut that footage for you, but I sometimes I like to show you that I, you know, you always see these fantastic put together pages and Sometimes for me, they're not that well put together at the start. There's a process behind it all. So nice to see that things go down and then get ripped off and come back. And yeah, anyway, they're there and I'm very happy with them now. And yeah, just adding those few more embellishments. Thinking about what it needs. Does it need more? And of course, I did say I really love that 25. And I look, I found a smaller version. So this is an enamel sticker version. It's just a better size. And I'm going to pop it underneath my photo, lining it up so it sits central. Yeah, there we go. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I needed that pop of red. And I think I need to finish with a few more accents of red as well. So I will come back and get those red stars from earlier. And look, drawing attention to my title, perfect. And that's pretty much my layout. It's, you know, it was really simple to create, but isn't it beautiful? Look at that texture paste. Amazing. So text is patina. Here comes all the finished photos for you now. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. If I don't answer, DM me on Instagram. I'm always on there. Um, I can't wait to hear and see more from you guys. So please share your creations with me as well. I love seeing them all. And thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And have an amazing week. Happy Addy Days. Bye.